Hello again, Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. We're now going to look at putting on recurring payments or receipts on Sage. So we might have a standing order set up from our bank current account to a building society account or savings account. Every month, you know, we'll transfer £100 over $100, something like that. Or we might have a regular receipt of payment come in from an office we let out um, on our property or it could be a number of things just a regular amount of money coming in usually the same amount of money on a regular interval the reason why we would set up a recurring um, payment or receipt is it saves us putting the information in manually each month or each week every time it happens with a recurring payment or receipt it will just do it automatically for us and save us a lot of time and hassle click recurring click add click the bank account you wish the payment or receipt to go to or go out from to the bank current account find the nominal code let's put this under rent income so 4904 transaction type this will be a receipt and it's a standing order STO and let's put in the details office rental now in this sub box here we have post and frequency so let's have it go into the bank every one month we can do it every amount of days, weeks or months we want to. Total required posting, so we have a contract with the people in the office for the next 12 months. So we'll put 12 in there. We'll see that the finish date is there. This is the start date. Obviously we can change the start date. Perhaps their first payment will come in on the 27th. There we go. If it's an ongoing thing and doesn't have any future date to finish, if you leave that as zero, it will be perpetual. So we'll just keep posting these payments until or receipts until you tell them to stop. Put in the amount. So say they pay us £200 a month, plus that. Click OK. And there it is there. If we add another one, this time let's do a payment of casual wages say there's someone that comes in and does a bit of work for us once a month let's call his name Rob Well, let's do it once a week. The other one was once a month. So once a week, starting from yesterday. Let's leave it as perpetual. So you're given fifty pound, and there's no VAT on that. Click OK. So they're there. If we want to edit these recurring payments or receipts anytime, just double click on them. You can edit it there. You can also delete them by clicking that there. When you want these recurring payments and receipts to be posted onto Sage, just click Process. Enter the date you wish for these entries to be posted from. Um, so say if we have a number of um, recurring payments and receipts set up, and we process it to today's date. It would bring all those up whose next posting is before or on today's day. Hopefully I've explained that clearly. So today's date is the 21st, so only brings up this drop payment. Obviously this one's not coming in to the 27th. And the today's date is the 21st, we obviously can't put the 27th there. If we click post, then it will just do it automatically for us. So it saves you a lot of time, all you have to do is click recurring. Put in the process and date, you know, you could do this once a week and then just click post and it'll post it all for you. 
it may not seem like it will save you much time but if you've got you know 15 20 of these that's 15 20, 20 transactions you don't have to add into sage and you'll be surprised how many regular payments go out and into a bank we find our bank account we should see that rob rob payment has gone through there okay thank you so much for watching these videos are starting to get a bit more complicated now with recurring payments and receipts and also we're going to start talking about bank reconciliations if you do have any questions just please get in contact and I'll do my best to answer your questions if it just totally blows your head and you can't work your way around it then please drop us a line and we might be able to help you out somehow thank you so much for watching bookkeeping master